For today, we will talk about the history of mathematics. Everything exists on earth has an origin and a story to tell, as well as this subject, mathematics. What is the origin of this? What is the story we can get from this, back from when it started? We can see here the timeline of mathematics from 7000 BC up to the present. But now, I will show you from 7000 BC to 1000 BC. We can see the early Egyptian, their written numbers, their oldest mathematical text, the Babylonian multiplication table, the early Chinese mathematics, and the Indian mathematics. Proceeding to 1000 BC to 15th century, we have the Greek classical mathematics, the Greek Hellenistic mathematics, the Babylonian mathematics, the Chinese mathematics, and the European Middle Age. From 400 BC to 18th century, we can see the India mathematics, the Islamic Middle Ages, the Renaissance 16th century, 17th century, and 18th century. From 16th century to 21st century, we can see the modern abstract math, the 20th century math, and the 21st century math. Now, let's proceed to the significant events from those periods, starting from the early Egyptian. The early Egyptians settled along the fertile Nile Valley as early as about 6000 BCE, and they began to record the pattern of lunar phases and the seasons both for agricultural and religious reasons. The picture on the left side signifies the number system that they used from those times. They use as the staff, heel, coil of rope, lotus flower, and pointing finger. We proceed now to the written Egyptian numbers. From 2700 BCE, it is thought that the Egyptians introduced the earliest fully developed base 10 numeration system, at least as early as 2700 BCE, and probably much early from that. Theta numbers used a stroke for units, a heelbone symbol for tens, a coil of rope for hundreds, and a lotus plant for thousands, as well as other hieroglyphic symbol for higher powers of ten up to a million. We can see the number system of Egyptian from this time were improved. We will now proceed to the oldest mathematical text, Ancient Egypt from 2000 BCE to 1800 BCE. The oldest mathematical text from ancient Egypt is covered so far, though is the Moscow Papyrus. The Moscow Papyrus was an Egyptian mathematical papyrus, which dates from the Egyptian Middle Kingdom around 2000 to 1800 BCE. Now, we will proceed on the multiplication table of Babylonians. Many of the mathematical tablets are problem texts. They contain problems or set of problems, sometimes with solution. Many of the problems involve geometry, and the rest are almost always word problems, where the context is the calculation of the area of an irregular field, the volume of a ditch, number of a bricks to build a ramp, and etc. But here, we can see on this tablet, the ta multiplication tables of the Babylonians. Now, let's proceed to the early Chinese mathematics. From 1600 BC, the simple mathematics on oracle bone script date back to the Shang Dynasty. One of the oldest surviving mathematical works is the Yi Jing, which greatly influenced written literature during the Zhao Dynasty. For mathematics, the book included a sophisticated use of hexagram. What is hexagram? Hexagram is a six-pointed geometric star figure. Leibniz pointed out the I Ching, which is a book of changes or classic changes, contained elements of binary numbers. Now, we have the Indian mathematics. Mantras is a book which contains of a sacred uterans aligned to their religion. Mantras from the early Vedic period invoke powers of 10 from 100 
all the way up to a trillion and provide evidence of the use of arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, fraction, squares, cubes, and roots. We will proceed on to the 1000 BC to 15th century. On this period, we have the Greek classical mathematics. Historians traditionally place the beginning of Greek mathematics proper to the age of Thales of Miletus. Who is Thales of Miletus? Thales of Miletus is a mathematician and an astronomer from the Greek city of Miletus. He was regarded as a first philosopher in the Western tradition. Little is known about the life and work of Thales, so little indeed that his date of birth and death are estimated from the eclipse of 585 BC, which probably occurred while he was in his prime. Despite this, it is generally agreed that Thales is the first of the seven wise men of Greece. The two earliest mathematical children was Thales Turem and Intercept Turem. It was all attributed to Thales. Let's proceed to the classical mathematics on 548 BC, Thales is also thought to be the earliest known man in history to whom specific mathematical discoveries have been attributed. Although it is not known whether Thales was the one who introduced mathematics, the logical structure that is so ubiquitous today, it is known that within 200 years of Thales, the Greeks had introduced logical structure and the idea of group into mathematics. Greek during Hellenistic Most of the mathematical texts written in Greek have been found in Greece, Egypt, Asia Minor, Mesopotamia, and Sicily. Let's proceed to the Hellenistic mathematics of the Greeks. From 450 BCE, by the Hellenistic period, the Greeks had presided over one of the most dramatic and important revolutions in mathematical thought of time, the ancient Greek numeral system. What is numeral system? A numeral system is a writing system for expressing numbers. The Greek numeral system is known as Attic or Herogenic numerals. What is Attic? Attic is a Greek territory of Attica. Herogenic is named from Elius. Herogenus, a Greek grammarian of the 2nd century AD. Attic or Herogenic numerals was fully developed by about 450 BCE and in regular use possibly as early as 7th century. Now, let's proceed to the Babylonian mathematics from 539 BC. Babylonian mathematics, also known as Assyrio-Babylonian mathematics. What is Assyrio-Babylonian? Assyrio-Babylonian which refers to the characteristic of Assyrian and Babylonian and their common culture. Again, Babylonian mathematics was any mathematics developed or practiced by the people of Mesopotamia. From the days of the early Samarian to the fall of Babylon in 539 BC, Babylonian mathematical texts are plentiful and well edited. Let's now go to the Chinese mathematics. From 263 CE, among the greatest mathematicians of ancient Chinese was Liu Hu, who produced a detailed commentary on the nine chapters. In 263 CE, was one of the first mathematicians known to leave roots unevaluated, giving more exact results instead of approximation. Let's move forward to European Middle Ages. From 301 CE to 1500, when Chinese, Islamic, and Indian mathematicians have been in ascendancy and Europe fell in dark ages, almost all mathematics and intellectual endeavor stagnated. From the 4th to 12th century, studies of geometry, arithmetic, and translation was limited to Boethus translation of some words of ancient Greek masters. Who is Boethus? Boethus translated all the works of Aristotle and Plato. Let's now move forward to 400 BC to 18th century. Indian mathematics 400 CE to 16th century. In the classical period of Indian mathematics, 
important contribution were made by scholars like Aryabhata, Barmagupta, Mahavira, Bhaskarat II, Madhava of Sangamagrama, and Nilakantha Sumayaji. The decimal number system in worldwide use today was first recorded in Indian mathematics. Islamic Middle Ages From 632 BC to 1258, the Islamic Empire made significant contribution to math since the 8th century. Over time, Muslim artists discovered all different types of symmetry that can be done on a 2D surface. Let's proceed to the Renaissance 16th century. An important person in the early 16th century was an Italian Franciscan friar named Luca Pascioli. Luca Pascioli was the father of accounting and bookkeeping. Later, through him, multiplication, division, decimal, and equality symbol were getting more recognized. From Renaissance 17th century, the invention of the logarithm in the early 17th century was made by John Napier and French mathematician Gerard de Sargues is considered as a founder of field of protective. Renaissance 18th century, France became more prominent toward the end of the century. Joseph Louis Lagrange worked with Euler in joint work on the calculus of variation. Now let's proceed to the 19th century mathematics. Jean Robert Argan posted a paper on how complex number can be shown on geometric diagram. George Pica is usually credited with the invention of symbolic algebra. Let's proceed to the last period from 16th century to 21st century, the period of modern abstract math. Abstract math is a branch of math concerned with the general algebraic structure of various sets. A definitive treatise, Modern Algebra, was written by Bartel van der Werden, and it impacted all branches of math. In the early 20th century, there was the beginnings of the rise of the field of mathematical logic. Hilbert was responsible for several theorems and some entirely new mathematical concepts. 21st century math up to the present. Here in the present, we learn from our history to then discover new branches of math. Our math will evolve more in time as in more formulas and answers. I hope that you learned something from the history of mathematics. Thank you for listening. You are blessed. Hello guys! Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video to everyone. Thank you!